Singapore is boosting its chip production capability with the expansion of the United Microelectronics Corporation plant in Pasiris. The move by the Taiwanese semiconductor foundry will help Singapore strengthen its supply chain resilience and meet growing chip demand. Inside UMC's newest semiconductor foundry, machines produce wafers down to 22 nanometers. That's up to 4,000 times smaller than the width of a human hair. They form the base of chips that will eventually power devices like smartphone displays. Up to 30,000 wafers can be made each month, bringing the chipmaker's total capacity in Singapore to more than 1 million annually. The $6.7 billion investment is expected to add 700 jobs locally, with roles such as process and equipment engineers. We want to enlarge our R&D footprint in Singapore, so we need more uh, talented people like for master degree, PhD degree. So we will engage more uh, like master internship. We also have signed the MOU with Nian Polytechnics uh, last year, October. So we start to uh, engage the student early from their polytechnics. The facility is about the size of 16 football fields. It's an expansion to UMC's current plant. The new factory's first phase will begin production in 2026. One observer says the UMC facility ensures Singapore remains a relevant central semiconductor hub. We, uh, the likes of UMC uh, presence here with a more advanced technology node, it creates excitement also to the workforce, to the technical community. Uh, and more importantly, it drives a lot of the, the so-called development of this technology, not just within UMCs, but to the research institution, not just the research institution like A-Star or IME, right? it also goes into the likes of NTU and US. At the new factory's launch, Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong says such partnerships are critical as Singapore navigates an increasingly complex global environment. Singapore remains firmly committed to the fundamentals that have defined our approach to economic growth and development over the decades. These include careful long-term planning, sustained investment in infrastructure, maintaining a pro-business environment, upholding a strong rule of law and remaining open to trade, investment and talent. He adds that the new plant will also open up new opportunities in the country's semiconductor ecosystem. These include helping startups, suppliers and equipment manufacturers.